Hey y'all and welcome back to the party. It's your girl Britt Reacts and today we are reacting to Bill Burr. I don't think my friend's baby is his. Let's see what he has to say. All right, here we go. Next one. Hey Bill, uh, I asked for advice a couple months ago about a friend of mine. This one's another brutal one. <laughs> about a friend of mine whose girlfriend was having a kid and I was suspicious about whether or not um, it was his because he had gone and gotten checked twice to see if he could have kids and the doctor said no. Oh, I remember this guy. Remember that one? Doctors can the be doctor wrong said about this guy things like got that. got checked twice. They said he couldn't have kids and then all of a sudden his girl was pregnant. And there was questions about her being faithful. I remember this. I remember this. Well, this is the update <gasps> of this. He said, well, Ooh. about five months into the pregnancy, she miscarried. So the problem kind of solved itself, but it was a terrible thing to happen. Now they are living together, and I'm still pretty positive she was cheating on him, and he's hanging on to the relationship now through some sort of guilt because of the lost child. It just feels like my friend got one pulled over on him, and I really want to talk to him about it, but I can't find a good way to do it. Ooh, uh, this is your tough. Your podcast rules, and I hope you come to Edmonton sometime. A comic strip, right? The comic strip in Edmonton. I'll make my way up there at some point. Um, dude, that is a brutal, 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 brutal situation. And uh, it all depends on how you feel. Are you going to be able to live with yourself if you just say, listen, this kid is just a moron. He's my friend, but he's a fucking moron. Because that is an option. I just think some things are not people's place. I do. I think some things you have to like let people have their life, live their life, experience their life, have their woes, have their troubles and figure things out on their own. Um, I also don't think to discredit this girl just solely because the doctor told your friend that he can't produce babies. There are millions of people every year that are told they can't reproduce for whatever reasons or it's highly unlikely or the numbers are super low and then a miracle happens and they produce life. And there are all kinds of factors in that. And I, you know, if there was, he didn't mention, and then maybe there could be other suspicious things about her, but he didn't mention anything else about why this woman is suspicious in this way, except for that one thing. And it's like, I don't think that's his place. And I hope, well, I know what Bill is going to say is going to be hilarious no matter what, but I hope Bill kind of gives that same advice because whether the man feels trapped or he's super in love, that's that's his business and that's for him to figure out. I don't know. I just think sometimes people take too many liberties in other people's lives. You know, the good fellas moment. You know, when he, he uh, they tell that joke in Italian and De Niro says, what does it mean? And, and Pesci goes, it means he's he's content to be a jerk. <laughs> you know, what am I going to say? My wife two times me that joke basically about a guy who knows his wife's fucking around on him and he just doesn't, he just looks the other way. He's content to be a jerk. So that's what your friend is right now. But I why? know there's emotions involved, so there's, there is hope for him. But, you know, he's... Why does that make him a jerk? What if he's really in love? He's fucking himself over. So this is the deal. If you can live with yourself and just say, this guy's content to be a jerk, I'm not going to get in the fucking middle of this because there's so many obvious red flags here and this kid is just choosing to think, ignore them um what are the multiple say, red it. flags he's content to be a fucking idiot but if you're not going to be able to live with yourself then i would just sit down and talk to him all right that's fair and um hopefully he listens to you and if not and he stops being your friend um but what are the multiple red flags? I only heard one. And there could be multiple. And, you know, Bill Redmore in, went into depth in the first because this is an update. So maybe I'm missing stuff. Maybe there's some context I'm missing. But I'm just like, what is the what are the huge red flags other than this one thing that the doctor told him he could not have kids? What if she's just extra super fertile? <laughs> Why does he have to be a jerk? I don't know, guys. This one I'm like, mm, I don't know. I don't know. There's nothing you can fucking do about that. And I got a feeling probably seven or eight years from now, you might get a phone call of him saying, you know what, you were right. But th those are impossible situations. Jesus Christ. How the fuck would I handle that? I would, uh, I would say something. 
You know what? Really? I really I would definitely say something. But uh I don't know how to do that. Right. Okay, so what would you say, Bill? How the fuck would I say? I would say, listen. Here we go. You know, I'm friends with you. We've been friends a long time. That's when, that's when your buddy knows something fucked up's coming. <laughs> <laughs> right. Listen, we've been friends a long time, right? We've had a lot of good times, right? You know? You know you know that I've always been there for you, and I never try to steer you wrong, right? Like, see, <laughs> I think your girlfriend is a two-time in who? Yeah, how do you say that? Bill. I would just rip the Band-Aid off. Just say, listen, there's something I have to talk to you about. We're friends. And as a friend, all right, I can't stop thinking about this. And it would kill me to not bring this up to you. I have to do this. I'm not trying to be malicious. I'm doing this because you're my friend. And then I would just say, look. Ah, uh, Jesus, I just had it and I already forgot how fucking <laughs> difficult this is. I would just be <laughs> it's fucking ridiculous. Uh, I, I love hearing like just from a man's point of view, right? Like I'm a woman, I think from a woman's point of view and I'm thinking very different from him, but I love hearing how he feels like he would handle it. I still am going to stand on the fact that I don't think he should get involved in this. Look, you told me you couldn't have kids. You went to the doctor twice. You got tested. They said you couldn't have kids. Yet this girl somehow got fucking pregnant. Don't say fuck there. Yet <laughs> your 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 girl somehow got pregnant. Okay? Then you just sort of stare at him. <laughs> <laughs> you understand? I, I don't know where to go from there. All right? My gut's telling me that that wasn't your fucking kid. See, that's a hard one, too. That one, that, that kid you just fucking cried over that didn't get born. Yeah, I, I don't mean, think it was yours anyway. I'm sure he thought that. Ah, Jesus, I'm dude. I'm sure this is he has brutal. this internal conversation, brutal. too, based off what he was told by his doctor. Um, I would do, this is what I would do. I would do what I'm doing right now into a mirror and just keep correcting it as you go. The same way I said, okay, don't say fuck there. And then you back it up again. <laughs> Into a I don't mirror. think that she's being. I don't think. I don't think the woman that you're with has been a 100 percent honest with you. And I don't think that she has been 100 percent faithful. And my gut was is telling me that that wasn't your kid. See, that's brutal. Taking it to there. Yeah, but there's literally right. also no way to prove that because the kid right isn't here. So it's like to go out on the limb like that. And then potentially ruin a relationship off of a theory, off of your gut feeling. It'd be different if it was his gut feeling. But this you're a friend of his and he didn't take action on this gut feeling that maybe he had or thought of. And there's no way to prove it. You can't do a DNA test. That is really, really, really tricky territory. I think you need to get out of this relationship. I mean, I don't, dude, I don't know how to do it. I don't know how to fuck it. Yeah, you stumped me. You stumped the schwami. I, you know, the schwami? Like I know everything, obviously, the but uh, I usually can come up with some sort of angle. I don't know what the fuck to tell you. Um, but for whatever you do, don't write it down. Don't put it in a letter. Because he'll probably show it to her, and then then, uh, then it'll just be brutal. The fuck that. Don't, don't do that. Just, uh, yeesh. yeesh. That's a, uh, yeah, I don't know what to tell you, dude. That's a fucking brutal one. Jesus, does it work to just say it? Listen, man, you're best. we're best friends, right? We can say anything to each other? Yeah, I think your girlfriend uh, fucked somebody else without a condom and got pregnant that she was about ready to let you take on the responsibility and invest that sort of time, your life. She was content to throw away your fucking life. Do you understand me? All right? You went to two fucking doctors and they said you can't get pregnant, dude. How dumb are you? Get your fucking head out of her fucking vagina. And wake up. It's not your kid. All right? That was God. God gave you a fucking mulligan. He gave you a pass. All right? There you go. You want to get old? Jesus. You want to get fucking religious Jesus. about it? Jesus. Get out of the goddamn relationship. Stop being such a fucking pussy. Leave her. Cry about it for fucking six weeks. Whatever you got to do. Go join a fucking gym and get on... With your fucking life. And start wearing a condom. All right? Now, I know that team that we saw in the first right. half is not the fucking team that I know. Right. We've got another 30 minutes of fucking football, 
and I want you to get out. exactly what he sounded like, just a harsh football coach. That's exactly what he there, sounded like. And prove to me that you could play like the way I know you could play. That's what you do. You go, there we go. Took me a minute to work it out. You go fucking Vince Lombardi. <laughs> grab, grab, grab. Nobody tackling. You got to go like that. You got to build up. You got to start slow. You got to start slow. In all my years of looking at relationships, I don't think I have ever in my life seen a woman so pull the fucking wool of pubes over somebody's <laughs> fucking eyes like I did in that first half. You know what I saw out there? I saw bullshit. Billiam, this is Billiam. Billiam has entered the the building. Bill, Billy the goat is gone. Billiam, the tyrant, is here. He is so funny. He like, there is a a place where he just goes, and I've named him Billiam because I feel like he goes into this like deep, dark, carnivorous cave of like unhinged. How did we get here? What are you talking about? <laughs> Just some. I don't know what to do. It. I'm out. I don't know what to tell you. Yeah, you just told I don't know him. What to tell you. Tell that fucking yeah. kid he needs to make some halftime adjustments. All right. Pull the ripcord. Get the fuck out of there. Gee, I, ugh. <laughs> See, these 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 are the things they they don't they don't they don't talk about these kinds of, of of women on on those right. They're horrible fucking people, and they should talk about them. They always got a goddamn excuse, you know. Maybe they're just whores. You ever think of that? I think, is there any women out there? Is a woman out there? I want to I know this. Okay, this is totally anonymous. And I'm not judging you because I'm a male whore myself. All right? <laughs> not even, a, not even a recovered male um, more. He has a wife. Not even recovered? You still want? Okay. I'm a male whore myself. All right? I want to know this. Do, have, is there a woman out there who had dad stuck around? You had a great family? You weren't touched in any funny way. You went to school. You know, you were a Girl Scout. You did all the right things. But you just love dick. And not only do you love dick, you love a bunch of different dicks. And you are in a relationship. But every once in a while, you just got to go out and go bang somebody else because you're fucking bored. I'm not Basically, your girl. Basically, are you wired like a man? That's what I want to know. Okay? And you can be totally honest. There are definitely are women out there like that. I'm not your girl. I was out as soon as he said mom and dad were together. Up, oh, I'm out. Oh. <laughs> uh, but there are definitely women who just enjoy a good time, and there's nothing wrong with that. Let's examine. Let's examine that because I don't even think it's fair to just brand them all horse. I don't. I think some of them are. <sighs> uh, actually really intelligent and they've actually sat and contemplated it you know or you know done what i've done is justify their piece of shit moves <laughs> bill burr oh uh, you know something this is the time when i really should just have a guest i, I don't have a guest i gotta have more guests on this fucking podcast what do you what, 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 where's what, what, nia what, all right you guys want some youtube videos for this week i would have loved to have Stuck heard your cubicles left <sighs> yeah have you done that hmm? with five minutes left in your fucking day oh my gosh bill i would have loved to have heard nia's take on this story i would have loved for nia to given her given us her take on this story because i just don't think that was that guy's base or place and i don't think there was enough evidence to think that she just was out here producing babies with other people i don't i don't think so women are told all the time they can't have babies and then they have the miracle of a baby all the time be it her um maybe internal issues or the guy she's trying to have a baby with his internal issues and then a miracle happens but that's just my opinion and for nothing else, it was hilarious. It was, I love listening to him like go through these scenarios and like make up scenarios in his head. And he's like yelling at himself. And now that I know there's a mirror present, it makes it even better. Even better. That was Billiam. That wasn't Bill. That was Billiam Burr. <laughs> anyway, go have the day you deserve. Peace.